to make your clove hitch knot, you always work with a leading cord and this is going to be my leading cord for this row of clove hitch knots. So I'm going to take my next cord and I'm going to take it over the top of the leading cord and then just pull that nice and snug. We take the same cord over the top of the leading cord which is here so we're taking that over the top and we're just going to pull that cord nice and tight so it sits up there just up against the top of your work so that's the first knot complete I'm going to take my next cord and I'm going to do exactly the same so this is my leading cord keep it always keep it in the direction that you want to go and I'm going to take the cord over the top of the leading cord and pull it up nice and snug and then take it over the top again and can you see this is where I'm coming out so this is let me show you again this is my leading cord I'm taking the cord over the top and through that loop there and I'll just do another example so we're on to the third cord now and we're going to take the third cord over the top of your leading cord coming through here like that and we're going to complete that just the same again row of diagonal clove hitch knots take your leading cord and point it in the direction that you want to go I'm sort of mirroring this one over here so we take our next cord and we take that over the top of our leading cord and pull that nice and snug just note at this point can you see this this bit here you need to allow um, the actual work to turn so don't pull this too tight up there just sit it straight in line with your other clove hitch knots and to complete that knot we take the rope over again and just pull it up nice and tight the next one there we go Remember, keep your leading cord in the direction that you're going and we can complete this row.